inspired by what Baker Mayfield did on Thursday Night Football, 98 yards, to have the Rams lift themselves <laughs> to a win. That's all he wanted. Dak did not deliver, but the Cowboys did in the long run. What a weird day. Uh, Texans were up for a while, thought they were going to run away with it. Cowboys take a win. What do we make of this win for the Cowboys? Uh, who should go first? Jason. Jason. Oh, should I'll, go. I'll take over. <laughs> go ahead, Jay. For me, it was their defense on that possession. All right, Texans are punting the ball. Turpin doesn't field it. They down the ball on the one-yard line. Cowboys get the ball. Dak Prescott throws an interception. And now the Texans are first and goal from the four-yard line. For the defense, you're sitting on the bench. Interceptions thrown. Sudden change. Sudden change. There's chaos on the sideline. You have to go out there now on the field, and you have to get a stop. If the Texans score here, the game is over. And this Dallas Cowboys defense rolls to the occasion. Four straight downs right here. Just slamming the door. Van Der Esch right there. Help oh, and get him there. down. Almost there. This Look, this close more reaching across knee hits. It is a game of inches. Mm. And for the Dallas Cowboys, they didn't play well yesterday throughout this game. But in the fourth quarter, when you needed it most, being able to come up with a stop. Because if they don't stop him here, there is no Dak Prescott going 98 yards. There is no Ezekiel Elliott jumping past the kettle. Those things just don't happen. It's a game's over. You're trying to score and run out the clock. But they're able to get this stop and give Dak Prescott and the offense a chance to go back out on the field. So I just want to give a ton of credit to this Dallas Cowboys defense because in sudden change in moments like that, it's very tough to go on the field when the other team has all the momentum right there on the mm -hmm. four-yard line and to slam the door and not let them in was huge at that point in the game. Huge. And we've been hearing for weeks and months now, and really like since the 90s, this Cowboys team is different. They're not like every other Cowboys team. And I'm always skeptical of that because it never ends up being true. This, that was a good moment for them. You know, it's not a great day. And Dak did, made a huge mistake and whatever. It, it, that was a massive clutch moment for them mm -hmm. because you blow that game to the Texans, then you're a punchline, especially with how jarring the contrast is what Philly did yesterday. Yeah. Like, yeah. they don't belong. Dallas is Fugazi. They're pretenders. It's like every other Cowboys team. And maybe that will turn out to be true, but not on this day. You get a win. I, I cannot sit here with 10 wins, and they say, they, well, they almost lost to the Texans. Texans gave it a good shot. They have veteran players. They almost did it. And I, I cannot sit here and say, Dallas, you almost lost the game, so you suck or something. In their version <laughs> of them trying to prove to us that they're different than other Cowboys teams, I know a lot of other Cowboys teams that would have lost this game. This wasn't one of them. That's fair. That's fair. That said. You're going in, Peter? <laughs> go, go ahead. I, I just can't. I don't know. Uh, because I, I look at their schedule, and it was like they, they've got – this game here, they've got the Jaguars the following week, and it's one of these things where it's like, all right, we got the Eagles, we got the Eagles Christmas Eve. Yeah, like, that's yeah, our yeah, game. Yeah. And you see Texans Jaguars on the mm -hmm. schedule, and it's like, do you take your foot off the gas? Uh. Look, no Nico Collins, no Brandon Cooks. You got no Pierce at the end. You got Driscoll at quarterback who has been good, but like Jeff Driscoll's leading another. <laughs> and you're 17-point favorites at home, uh. and you find yourself down multiple scores. They won. They figured it out, and we always say a win is a win is a win yeah. is a win. They better not mess around against the Jaguars, by the way. I was gonna way. say, yeah. like, don't do that. But I think they were looking ahead not only next week to Philly, to two weeks, looking yeah. two weeks, two ahead. weeks ahead. Interesting. Um, with all the talk about that Christmas Eve battle, we even talked about it on the show last week. We're like, is that gonna be the highest rated game of the regular in season in history? And that's not a game for another two weeks. No. So they do win, and maybe that'll be a, a you know an important turning point for the season. Like we can't take anyone for granted, but. Gosh, I don't come away from that being like, go oh, Cowboys. I, yeah, you saved one, but you almost lost to Jeff Driscoll and Amari Rogers at home, 17 point favorites. I don't know. Here's a tease for our show. We have an entire segment devoted later to that Christmas game that, about the Eagles yeah. and the Cowboys. So yeah, that's how much too. we're leading into it, too. We're overlooking Cowboys, Jaguars? How dare us? Yeah. Shocking. Jerry Jones uh, in that clip was like, oh, hi, Dak Prescott. I'm more, hi, Tony Pollard. Hi, Ezekiel Elliott. Yeah, they're good. Cowboys run game looks good. And in fact, continues to pace this team when the going gets tough. Pollard, when you, I watch him play, and he has a, we've all been talking about your uh, Isaiah Pacheco, Kansas City running back. He looks great. He just runs different. Sure your eye goes to him. I feel the same about Tony Pollard. Mm -hmm. There's a spark about him. He is statistically still behind Ezekiel Elliott yesterday, yet in my mind, I felt like every time I checked in on this game, my eye was drawn to the way Pollard plays. They each had a touchdown out of that running back room. And if this is where the Cowboys offense is going to have to rely upon to win games down the stretch, then so be it. Because a lot of talk in the offseason about why you're play, paying Zeke this much money, how come you're not using Tony Pollard more, why would you use him more if you are paying, mm. da, 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 doesn't matter. They're happy every week. Yep. They look good. If, a, if it's a happy running back room, especially with a guy that's paid 6x more than the other guy, and they're winning, just don't touch it. Don't mess with it if it's mm -hmm. working. Let, mm -hmm. let me ask, because we did Tua early. We did Josh Allen next. Mm -hmm. 
Dak gets to win, and you know, at the end, I want to. Jerry Jones says, Dak Prescott, do we have a Dak problem? Because Dak didn't look good for mm. the first 58 minutes of that game. And do you think that Jerry Jones saying something like that after the game is trying to light a fire of, hey, maybe. people start talking about a Dak yeah, problem. Maybe. maybe he thinks there's one. Is it something to your quarterback struggles all game, defense gets that stop, though, and he comes on the field, drives you down there, scores a touchdown, or just like, all right, he had an off day, yeah. but I want the guy that can come in and a guy to have a situation and lead he our team. It. And, draw, and he, he was awesome. That. He did that. So it was just like, Whatever point you get playoff, Super Bowl, game's not going to be pretty. There's going to be ups and downs. There's going to be adversity. Can you come in in the fourth quarter, a two-minute drive, lead us down there, and put whether it's three points or seven points on the board to win the game? Especially this team. There's this sense of inevitability with yeah. this mm -hmm. Cowboys team that there is going to be a moment in January, and we're all going to know what's happening, where they're like, all right, Dak, here we go. go. Uh, it's the, the Niners, and you got to go 76 yep. yards in a minute 15, and, like, can you do it? You know that's going to happen. I just don't know who the opponent is going to be yet, but it's coming, and if they don't do it, like, yeah. there'll be hellfire. Yeah. And if they do, it won't great, be the great Texans. job. It, it will not be the Houston Texans. <laughs> that much we do know. Peter, he who poses the question would probably has an opinion about no, is there a I'm Dak just, I'm, just, I'm just being the – Okay. Just, just, just curious if you had something you wanted to get off your chest. Just giving the rock In the form of a question.